Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, we got uh, a monster card that was just revealed by uh, Cheddar Paul. Um, I'll put a link in the description for his reveal. Uh, so check it out, man. He's a cool dude. I like him a lot. He's a metal friend, so he always gives me some uh, good metal selections. Um, so go over there and check that out, too. Um, but the monster cards, I always love the monster art. Um, let's check it out. Uh, it's the Incubus. Um. <laughs> it's got some boom chicka wow wow going on here. Uh, so he's a 5 for 5. He's a relic. So he procs the cell feeders. Deploy. Summon a bronze unit from your opponent's graveyard to the opposite row. Then summon a bronze unit of equal or less provisions from your graveyard to this row. So this can actually brick, can it? Oh, equal to or less. Okay. Um, so I guess you're looking for to replay your self-eaters. It's summoned, too, so it doesn't proc in one go. Um, what cards benefit pulling your opponent's stuff to where this actually benefits you? I guess you could pull like the the bricked cards if you're in the mirror, like the Wild Hunt Riders or like a Rocka Spore or something, to where it doesn't really benefit them and it just takes up board space. Um, it's going to be a real pain in the ass with a Rat Clog because uh, you could operator um, the Rat Clog guys, play a Rat Clog guy, and then have two of them on the board already that seems extremely dirty and I don't like it <laughs> no one heard that here if you're a rat clog friend or uh yeah just a no you didn't hear that I didn't even say that um but yeah it, it seems like it's got some operator type synergy but those are always like super meme decks like if if you uh, smell the shenanigans, just uh, bleed the shenanigans. Uh, fun card, but maybe there's other cards that go with it that we just don't see yet. Um, cards like, I think too, like Succubus maybe. Um, Witch Apprentice, if you're able to get that off. With the uh, Sabbath. So, fun card. Cool art. I like it. Um, let's check out these Skellige cards, too, real quick. I didn't get a chance to go over them yesterday. Uh, let's check out the crazy one first. Uh, Ryogan. Ryohan. The Undying. This card's badass. Um, he's an 8 for 8. This card starts in your graveyard when played or summoned from your graveyard. Trigger all remaining rain and storm on the opponent's side of the battlefield. So your deck starts off with 24 cards, so it's a nice thinning tool. Um, the uh, lemons and Osril are going to be real. <laughs> uh, especially if you're on blue coin, uh, they're going to play it like the next turn. Um but this is nuts, man. If this could stay in the graveyard, if they don't have that graveyard hate, they can, um, you know, if you have, like, a Skellige Storm and a Rain Down, like, it procs it. And then if there's another... Does it do it all at once, or it just triggers one... It says all remaining rain and storm so if you get like five rain and two storms on there it hits for everything at once is the way I'm reading it cards bananas um, I don't know why but it's giving me like uh, hellblade vibes here in the background like that one board towards the end when you're on that like shore I don't know if you played hellblade but I absolutely loved it Super cool card. Um, it's just super hard countered by Lemons and Osril and stuff. So 
I don't know if people are going to open up with Osril, but I mean, if you go into a long round with this and they got rain everywhere, good luck. This card's going to play for like 45 points. It's nuts. I love it, though. I think it's cool. It might be just a little bit too overpowered. Maybe if it was just like proc one um, turn of it. It's it's kind of like a like a line pockets to where like before you would have all this extra rain, especially if you have like um, what's her name, Melusine. You know, you start getting like a, an insane amount of row procs, but you can't. There's not enough rounds <laughs> to make them all go off. So, uh, really cool card. I like it a lot. Um, this other one was really cool too. Uh, it's great swords. Um, Messenger of the Sea, four for six beast. Whenever rain or storm damages an enemy units, boost self by the damage dealt. So. You have this down. You have two of these down. You got a great sword, two great swords down. I, I don't think you play these with great swords though. Um, they're just better. I mean, flat out, like it's it it has no ceiling. Like this card can get up to 177 points or something. Um, but you have two of these down. You play the Undying. It does all the damage, and then it all transfers back to. Um, where it came from here so you do 50 points of damage you get 50 points on the messenger of the sea um, not sure if this deck plays um, two blades as well but I imagine you would it's cheap I mean if you get it's it just makes them deal with it because if this car gets out of hand and they don't have like enough tall punish like I don't know the art's a little bit weird on this one, I won't lie. Um, I love the art, but it's like, it, it's it got like, uh, I don't know, like a Bioshock looking, like that one girl from Bioshock or something, I don't know. Um, I guess, uh, I don't know, it, it's, it's, it's cool, I like it, it, it got like Lovecraft like vibes to it, but it looks different for Gwent. Um, maybe the premium will be a little bit different. Uh, and then the last one was from uh, Thing, and this was the, the Haymaker. Um, Fakusha, 5 for 13. Basically, second win. Uh, deploy, play a Skellige unit from your graveyard with a provision cost of 10 or less, and give it doomed. Spawn rain on... The opposite row with the duration equal to the unused provisions. Um, you play this in every deck. <laughs> Flat out. Um, if you're a beginning player, you craft this instantly. You save up all your scraps and you craft this instantly. This card is insane. It's absolutely insane. So this is the Undying guy right here. He got all the love from the, the mermaids here. But yeah, I mean, like, you could play... Um, I mean, like, as a, if you if you're able to get like, you could replay iced with this. No, no, it's only thirteen, ten. I mean, you could replay Hjalmar. You could play two blades. You could replay your Covenant of Steel. I like the Junod synergy. Um, Coral, Skordal, even a Vobjorn to go into a. Um, Blood Eagle, possibly. Gird for a sweeper. The card's just nuts. I mean, you just, you, you, this is the first card you look to craft, flat out, if you're new. You just go right to it. Um, you could even put it, you could even replay series if you're able to put the cards back in the deck somehow. Melusine, you could play Melusine again. You could replay Canby. <laughs> More for the card is just so good. It's just so good that you, you play it in every deck. There's no way you don't. It's just being able to replay your, your cards that are Probably your whole deck's based around, except for like the huge bombs that 
you know, you have, but, I mean, like, other than, like, Harold, Iced, and maybe Ceres, everything else in Skellige that's decent is 10 or less. And, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, you just play this in every deck, flat out. The card's just busted. It's not busted, it's just, it's so fucking strong. It's so strong. But, uh, yeah, short video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, try to get some more free-to-play going. Um, one person did ask, why did I make the videos double speed? I just felt that people really didn't want to sit through, like, 40 minutes of a couple games of non-meta gameplay. I figured it added, like, you get a instant gratification like one game takes like five minutes so you know if it's not for you it's not for you i'm gonna keep doing it at double speed i think it uh it shows the gameplay quickly it gets more games in there for a beginning player to see how the games play out and as, as i like get lucky on kegs or whatever you know i slow it down for those but i'm um, gonna keep it at the double speed because i've mostly heard good things about it but i have had a couple complaints about it so Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.